Hi, in this tutorial you will learn how you can use the Spalline Mesh Renderer to create a railroad like this using only a piece or rail segment mesh like this one. To start, I'm going to drag and drop the Spalline Mesh Renderer prefab into the scene and rename it to Railroad Generator. Now, to start creating the real world, I'm uh, gonna need to feed the base, the base mesh property of the Spalline Mesh Render script. So I'm going to the Models folder and I'm going to drag and drop. For now it's going to be pink because it doesn't have a material, so I'm going to the Materials folder and I'm going to drag and drop the material on the rails. Now, there's a star, it's a good star. And now we can see that we have four squares. We got a green square, a green square over here, and two white squares in the middle. Each square is a control point of this spline. And to deform our mesh, we need to click on the control point. Then we can see its handles, and we can drag the handles and deform the spline. And, and curve the mesh the way we want it. We can also reset to come back to the previous to the base the base mesh form, and we can also change the rotation of each control point to deform the mesh. So let's hide the terrain to see this better. And now if I can click in a control point and I can change the rotation to deform the mesh and create some patterns like this. I can also reset all the rotations to set it straight again and start over. To extend the mesh, we need to click near the Edge Curve button, so it will create a new set of control points, so we can play with. And if we want to start over again, we can click the Reset button again, and we remove all the additional added control points. I'm going to use the terrain as a guide to create a real world. So the first thing I need to do is to do a curve to the left. So I'm going to click the Add Curve button and adjust the last handle over here. Now to make it curve over here, I'm going to grab this handle and I'm going to position it over here. I want it to be really straight, so I'm going to click here and check the X position. The Z position actually. I'm gonna set this this handle position to the same X position. Now I'm going to click the edge curve again. I'm going to create a curve over here. So I'm going to drag this this over here, and I'm going to do the same thing again. Just drag this over here. To make sure that it's aligned, so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna check the X position. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna set to the same position to this control point over here. Now we have more or less a curve to the left. I can adjust the curve to make it more beautiful. And it's good for now. Now we have an elevation over here, and this could be a problem, but will not be. Just gonna add two new curves, and I'm gonna grab the center control point of the curves, and I'm going to raise it above to 
create the elevation and I'm going to drag this forward a bit raise it a bit more and I can now drag this forward a bit and I got I got the elevation back so we can check a little closer we may have some 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 problems over here see it's floating over here so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on this handle and I'm going to change its mode to free mode so I can have more control about this this segment and I'm going to lower it down just a bit and I'm going to do the same thing with this control point I'm going to change its mode to free and I'm going to just adjust a little bit with the free mode we can have more control on this segment so it will be more, more perfect aligned with the terrain so he, over here you can see we have some segment below the terrain I can change this one to it's already in free mode let's click this about the terrain now I got the segment done and the difference about the, these modes are uh, the same uh, when we have a control point, it can be align, mirror, or free. The align, when you change this control point, it will, it will update this control point position to enforce the alignment of the mesh. The mirrored mode will mirror the position of the other side. In the free mode, you can change the position of this control point without affecting any other control point. So you can have much more control on your generated mesh. Now I'm just going to repeat this process over and over of adding and adjusting the curves to close out the reward. Now we can see we almost had it closed perfectly, but this there is some of a line mesh over here. What I'm going to do is going to drag this forward and we could see there is a gap between the first and the last control points. To close this gap, all you need to do is go into a spline script and check the loop option. Now it's going to perfect loop around it. So this is our railroad and it is dynamic so we can do we can come here and we can adjust the other segments to change it like we want it. I'm just going to reset this again. Now the railroad is done, I can keep it like a dynamic mesh if I want, or I can bake it by using the bake mesh button. So clicking the bake mesh button will open the mesh baker window. I'm gonna name it railroad and hit the bake button and we will generate for me in the baked meshes folder a mesh and a prefer so what I can do now I can disable the railroad generator we don't need it anymore and I'm going to drag and drop the railroad prefer into the scene and we got the railroad again well, the railroad is done, but it doesn't support collision yet, so I'm going to create a custom collider for it. So first I'm going to disable the railroad prefab, bring back the railroad generator, and I'm going to change this base mesh for a segment of a base mesh collider. Now I'm going to enable the collision and I'm going to bake it again this time I'm going to call it Railroad Collider I'm going to bake it and on the Bake It Mesh folders it had created for me my custom collider so I can disable the Railroad Generator again bring back my Railroad Prefab enable its Mesh Collider and I'm going to drag and drop my mesh over here now it supports collision 